This review has been approved by Lord Carnage. Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room. This is the Game of the Year Award Show 2014 broadcasting from the Intergalactic Space Arcade. Now let's get this party started by filling this beer glass with a cold beverage. But I've embraced a new healthy lifestyle because I want to fit into this sweet gauntlet t-shirt next year. Instead of beer, I'm going to have Surge, some Doritos, and these bacon-flavored candy canes. These were sent to the show by Tim in Louisville, Illinois. Thank you, Tim. I can see you're concerned about my health, too. I'm worried that this drink matches my shirt. It shouldn't do that. Mmm. Tastes like Mountain Dew, which coincidentally goes really well with Doritos. You should combine those flavors someday. Now, let's take a look at what you can expect from Classic Game Room next year, and then we'll dive into the awards. still here, although I'm seeing colors I've never noticed before. Now I'm changing the format of the Game of the Year show a little bit, counting down the top five games from 2014 and the top five new games that I've played in 2014, which could have been released in any year. Let's get started with 2014's games, though, because number five, the fifth best game of 2014, is Velocity 2X. Tuesday is Soylent Green Day, which brings me to the fourth best game of 2014, a game that has a lot of little towers shooting at things. This is Defense Grid 2. There's got to be a driving game in the Game of the Year award show, which brings me to number three, the third best game of 2014. You know it, Mario Kart 8. Good stuff, which brings me to the second best game of 2014. What could it be? What game has elephants, flamethrowers, and little helicopters to crash on people? Why, it must be Far Cry 4. What can I help you buy today? <gasps> that is shit again! It's Game of the Year time. 2014 was a pretty busy year with a comic book, a film, and I'm sure I missed a lot of games that should have been on this list, like Bayonetta 2. I just haven't had time to play it yet. But I find it hard to believe that any game could possibly be better than this one from 2014. It's Wolfenstein, The New Order, Game of the Year. 
2014. Congratulations to Wolfenstein, the new order. It's it's terrific. Now, let's get to the second half of this review show, the top five games that are new to me this year, regardless of what year they were released. This is number five. It's Beam Rider for the Atari computer. I spent a lot of time with the Atari XE computer last year, it's fantastic. Now let's move on to number four, the fourth best game of 2014 that's new to me is Kururin Squash on the GameCube. Little Blue Ducks and Helicopters, it's a winning formula, which brings me to the third best game in 2014 on the Sega Dreamcast, it's Space Harrier, also known as Shenmue. The Shenmue packaging fell apart, but I, I was going to hold up the controller for this next game, the second best game of the year that I played in 2014, which is new to me, but I can't lift the damn thing because it's Steel Battalion. Giant robots crushing things, gotta love it. Now, it's the time we've all been waiting for. Game of the year time. What game is the best game of 2014, which is new to me that didn't come out in 2014? I didn't put it right next to me. I was gonna hold it up, where'd it go? This is anticlimactic. Is it under Shenmue? No, but it is Nuts and Milk. Who the hell is it? I found it. It was in my pocket. I'm not even making that up. It was literally in my pocket. This stuff will make you crazy. Nuts and Milk on the Nintendo Famicom is the best new game that's not new, which I played in 2014. It's fantastic. Congratulations to the Classic Game Room Games of the Year 2014, Nuts and Milk on the Famicom, and Wolfenstein, the new Order, two games which have nothing in common except for the fact that they're both great. Now, thank you to everyone who's been watching for the past year, the past five years, or the past 15 years. Classic Game Room will continue. I'll see you soon. Maybe. You're still here? Good. So am I. Now, if you stick around, I'll show you some sketches from my upcoming comic book, Ethel the Cyborg Ninja. I'll get to the bacon candy canes later. Can't take any more sugar, but this is one of the cover ideas for Ethel the Cyborg Ninja in her spacesuit. Two swords standing over a sea of carnage. Robots and aliens and mercenaries stabbed in the background. The original, or one of the original, character sketches for Ethel the Cyborg Ninja in her non-space outfit with the horns, some action scenes I'm penciling out, more character and outfit sketches, part where she's jumping out of a spaceship, 
more action scenes. So there's some pretty cool stuff coming up in the classic game room comic book universe, including Lord Carnage Book 2, hopeful, hopeful print compilations of Jesus the Coked Up Chicken, Disco 8-Track, which is the Edit Station 1 comic book, and Wind Squid, the Ethel the Cyborg Ninja Kickstarter, will be hitting soon, so keep an eye out for that. It's going to be a massive book and hopefully my best yet. So thank you to everyone for watching. This is just scratching the surface of what I've got coming up for you over the next year here on Classic Game Room. Got Action Force, got Dreamcast Light Guns, got a stack of manga, video games for all different consoles, Dark Wizard, Dance Dance Revolution for the Game Boy, Spy Hunter, Headbuster, a little game you may have heard of called Panzer Dragoon Saga. Pac-Man for the Game Gear. Not even sure what that one is. Or this one, except it's got a cute kitten on the front and I've played a little bit of it. It's not too bad. Ray Tracers and uh, look here, we, we've got a pocket station, one of many. Import Odyssey games for the Magna Fox Odyssey 2. Sensible Soccer. We'll find out how sensible it really is. In 2015, on Classic Game Room, I had to think about what year it was just to make sure. See you soon.